In this video, we're going to be talking about why U-Trips is one of the better offenses in the game and its ability to be able to beat man coverage as well as any zone uh, that you might face. Now, the play we're going to be going over, U-Trips, why off trips pass. Um, this is found in the Patriots playbook. And uh, the play we're going to be going over is SCAT. Now, if you guys want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link is in the description below. For just $10, bucks, you will get access to all uh, 15, 14 of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the U-Trips offensive ebook, as well as any updates to those ebooks, including uh, our new ebook that we're going to be dropping this week. So you get all the updates and you get any new stuff as well. Okay, so, uh, and again, if you want to sign up, link's in the description. So uh, the setup for this play is we are going to uh, actually leverage the power of the C route on the outside. We're then going to drag our solo wide receiver and our tight end, creating a mesh concept. And then we're going to motion over um, uh, Julio Jones on this post. What this play does such a good job of is it spaces the field really, really well. Now, um, the outside apprentice C route is one of the best man beating routes in the game, but you're also going to leverage that power um, to be able to essentially pull zones out as well if it does not get open. Um, it's going to force them to have to shade their coverage outside, uh, potentially outside third, uh, that corner over there. And you have this natural uh, built into the play wheel route that is really good as well uh, to the running back, which we'll come to in just a second. But as you see there, that could be a potential really good route, especially if you have short out elite. Um, let me flip my play real quick to give you just a little better um, illustration of how good this C route can be, especially if you're on the left side. So let's say the ball was on the right hash mark. If you were to run this play flipped, uh, it's a little bit better. It's just more consistent when you have lower route running. When you have really good route running like what you'll probably have in Ultimate Team, that C route is going to win 99% of the time against man-to-man. -man. There's specific adjustments that people have to make uh, to stop the C route. And so, you know, we have that in our play. Now, the next thing that we have uh, after the C route is we have these little double drags as well. So, again, there you see, there's that C route. That's a little bit more indicative of what you're going to see fairly consistently. Now, um, so they have to adjust to that. One basic adjustment is they're going to have to shade their coverage outside uh, or shade that guy outside specifically. When they go to an outside shade, that's where these mesh routes and these crossing routes are really going to come in handy. This post route is one of the best man beaters in the game. This motioned over sharp cutting post route is really, really effective. And so they're, as a user defender, uh, typically they're going to be using you know, this player right here. They're going to have to respect the fact that they've got to drop over the middle of the field. So they might have you know, something like this coverage defense, for example, kind of a common uh, coverage defense that they might want to run. So what you'll see with this is this wheel route, how he has, he now has leverage uh, to the left side. If that slot corner is not manned up on him, you can throw this outside pass lead to the running back, and now they have to respect him as well. So for example, let's say that they're blitzing you out of spinner, um, which is a very popular uh, popular play to use this year for pressure. Let me show you a little bit of what you're going to see. So you see here that everybody's manned up except for the running back. They have to drop over to take away the middle route over the field. So the best adjustment they could make is manning the slot corner up onto uh, this player. And then they might you know, do all kinds of other adjustments around this. But this is a send five variation. So now you want to be taking advantage of this drag to the tight end because, again, the user has to drop back over the middle to guard the post. If the user doesn't guard the post, then obviously you're going to throw the post. So let's say you get um, you know, a play art that kind of looks like this where they essentially prioritize taking away the drags underneath and taking away the wheel route. Now what you should be able to do is you should be able to hit this post over the middle of the field. So this play really is very effective for breaking down man-to-man, -man. Uh, not to mention the fact that they have... Most people, when they play U-Trips, they're probably going to have some kind of hard flat to the to the tight end side just because of how powerful the tight end out route is. But if they don't, 
this little quick drag over the middle to uh, the square receiver could potentially be there. Obviously, right there, we had a hard flat. Uh, but that, that drag to the solo receiver could be there for you as well. Uh, and then I want to go over some zone stuff. So if you get zone, what we want to use this um, C route for, essentially we're high lowing the yellow zones. So the C route is going to pull back a lot of zone as well as the wheel route to the back. So you want to work these little underneath meshes and you really want to force them to have to come down uh, to be able to properly defend some of these underneath routes. As they come down, then what should be open in, in result is it should be this post route. So you'll see here again, C route, no, drags, no, and then you have the post that is coming so sharp that the deep blue zones won't be able to defend it. That's what makes this formation, I think, so powerful is the posts within this formation are normally really, really effective um, because they, they're sharper, they're, they, they cut underneath, undercut these deep blues, as you see right there. So that's my favorite route for man, for zone. And then for cover two, cover two is a little bit of a, probably, honestly, cover two is probably one of the better coverages for this specific play uh, because you have three players in the middle of the field. So you could have underneath yellows and then you could use her the post. Um, but the thing that you have against a cover two is you should be able to hit the C route uh, to the outside. Right there, wasn't able to get my feet down. But that C route to the outside, you want to work on that pass lead a little bit in practice mode. Um, but it's a fairly effective uh, read. Let me show you one more time. So again, against cover three, cover four, your post and your mesh, you could still probably honestly hit one of these drags across. But against cover two, really right in that little window right there, that's where you're wanting to throw it. So like right when he kind of clears the cloud, that's when you want to throw... Um, that's when you want to throw this this C route, and it really does a great job of kind of breaking down uh, cover two coverage that you might see. So you see here, he kind of breaks the outside. You don't want to overpass lead it, so I just don't even freeform it, and you see that that can be a really nice little read for you. This play is really good against the current meta. They have to respect the quick throw wheel route. They have to respect the double drags, the, the back break around of that post, and then obviously you have that C route, one of the most important routes this year. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you're in our Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our ebooks and all updates to those ebooks as well. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link in the description.